Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Ana. Give the computer a little bit of time to catch up here and we'll get going. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Sunday evening. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to have the answer to, or if there's something here you would like to see, whether it comes to climate data or anything else involving weather in the Mid-South, please feel free to let us know and to also just drop us a line so we can tell a little bit more about what it is you would like to see on here. This is our exclusive video weather blog. We cover the areas of West Tennessee between the Tennessee and the Mississippi rivers basically. Northern quarter of Mississippi and eastern call it quarter of Arkansas into what we call the Mid-South area. I may not have seen that before or taking a look at that area, but we are again from there. And if you'd like to know more, go to this website, wrag.com slash weather. Current conditions back here in this bar. Tonight's forecast, we should make into the mid to upper 60s tonight for lows with a 20% chance of a few showers and thunderstorms possible into the area overnight. Dwindling chances into tomorrow with again the possibility of showers and thunderstorms making their way out of the picture as we head into the rest of the forecast. I hope we don't have a screen freeze here. We are still live so stay with me even though the camera is having some difficulties at this point but we'll get back to you here I think that's good news hopefully one minor look at things before I throw the CPU under the bus there we go okay much better back with you now I think for right the time being currently a little bit of traffic on Germantown Parkway St. Francis seeing a little bit of cloudy skies overhead but otherwise clearer skies out across the mid-south into tomorrow more of our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more there Rhodes College a little bit of cloudy skies from earlier this evening but now pretty dark out there with the sun behind the horizon did manage to wind up with about a tenth of an inch of rain here in the News Channel 3 studios backyard but that's about it this current view from the Weather Underground system. If you'd like to know more about that, all you can do is go to wunderground.com for more. Earthquakes in the New Madrid seismic zone. Not much to report at this time. Matter of fact, nothing whatsoever showing up across any portion of the Mid-South. So good news on that, but I'm going to keep our eyes on that. If you'd like to know more, you can visit the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis or the United States Geological Survey, and we'll keep you up to date on what's going on there with all kinds of information, great details about the New Madrid Fault, earthquakes around the United States, tons of great information available there. The temperature is pretty stable over the next couple of hours. Chances of showers and thunderstorms will remain across the area, about a 20% chance as we head toward roughly around midnight, and that may linger into very early tomorrow morning with again those chances going on into around two o'clock in the morning so expect the possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms out there nothing huge but still the possibility may exist let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on into the rest of the forecast for tonight again we could see some scattered showers up around west tennessee eastern parts of arkansas from the boot hill down to around phillips county and around portions of arkansas 75 in around clarksdale by about 11 o'clock in the evening 73 in memphis about 11 o'clock tonight and a chance of showers and thunderstorms could linger into around northeast mississippi and rebrew again much of the activity we'll be watching overnight will be across southeastern arkansas right about over here and that again will be mainly dropping away and down to our south but here's the thing we still have the potential of a few showers popping up as we go into around early Monday morning. So definitely want to stay tuned for more with Todd Demers forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow. Rest of the day, again, we're going to be getting rid of most of the showers and thunderstorms, but we still will see the possibility of some activity going into around northern Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas. Along and north of I-40, we probably shouldn't see too much of anything outside of maybe just a stray sprinkle, a few clouds left over, things like that, and then temperatures back in the mid-80s by the time we hit lunchtime tomorrow. Heading into tomorrow evening, most of the rainfall drops on down to the south and the east of us, but really just not seeing a lot of totally clear skies for most of the day. Then by about News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow night, most of the activity is gone, and that should do it for the chances of rainfall for at least a little while. Severe threat at this time. The good news at this point into early tomorrow morning, we're not seeing anything in the way of severe weather taking place. Uh, the best possibility for severe weather is going to be well to our southwest, down to around portions of northeastern Texas, southeastern Oklahoma, and southwestern Arkansas. That'll be the 
threat into very early tomorrow morning. After that, the threat basically makes its way on out of the picture and heads on over to the east of us, well to the east of us, around portions of Chesapeake Bay, the mid-Atlantic states, and upwards into around uh, New England into about early portions of Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, there's a slight chance of something on the Carolina coast, and then that should do it. Maybe a little bit of activity out toward the high plains, but we're just not looking at much more than just a marginal threat of severe weather, and that should about do it. Let's run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on for the seven-day forecast. Starting tomorrow, temperatures back in the mid-80s with isolated showers and thunderstorms early, but then dwindling, and most of that should be along the mid-80s for high temperatures tomorrow. Upper 80s for highs as we go into Tuesday with mostly sunny, very warm, naturally very humid conditions out across the Mid-South. For the first full day of summer, summer officially begins at 11.24 p.m. Tuesday. So we do see that potential for a nice warm spate of days coming up. But so far, nothing in the way of heat waves. That's always good news because we could easily be topping the upper 90s at this time of the year, even the triple digits pretty easily. Best chance of showers and thunderstorms again. Less of a chance Tuesday into Wednesday. So last day of spring, first day of summer should be again good for outdoor activities. Heading into the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's where we see the potential of showers and thunderstorms returning to the Mid-South, and that can be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities, so please keep that in mind if you're doing anything out there. This is something that is important. Give the computer some time to catch up. We still have a bit of a lag time here with all the data being processed and recording this uh, podcast as well. Now, we don't have anything really immediate but we do have something developing down into around the Gulf of Mexico. It doesn't even have a name yet, but this could be Tropical Storm Brett in the next couple of days. Now it is just Invest 93L. It's just an area of investigation down around the Yucatan Peninsula. But notice that we have a lot more in the way of rainfall sweeping up over Cuba and heading around the Keys and into Florida. That's part of that system. Now we also have another system farther out into the Atlantic just off of the coast coast of South America. Also is just an area of investigation, just a wave of energy heading across the ocean surface. This is 92L, and both of these are going to be of concern, not just for the fact that for travelers these could develop into storms which could threaten life and property, but also because these storms forming, this many storms this early in the tropical storm season, kind of makes one sit up and take notice because that's a lot of activity very early in the game. We just started hurricane season. We may be looking at a long season coming up, including, again, a very active season, and this might be some of it. So we may be looking at the B and C storms here. Where are they going? The one out by South America, pretty good indication. The spaghetti models, so named, again, because of the fact that they look like a mess of spaghetti on a plate. This, again, showing the different models, showing which direction each model thinks the storm will be going. This model run is pretty well together showing it going into the southern Caribbean. The other one has it going anywhere between Corpus Christi, Texas and the Panhandle of Florida. So that's a very wide range of that system going just about any place across the Gulf, which means if you are traveling to the Gulf Coast, vacation, business, whatever, this is something you're going to have to watch out for. So this particular system right here, if you are going to be traveling in the next few days, you're going to want to pay attention to this from the Keys to Brownsville anywhere within the northern Gulf this is going to be something that could develop into something where you have to get out of the way so definitely want to think about that before you plan your trip pay attention to the forecast especially if you are traveling Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak I'll have your forecast on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live and of course I'll have tons of information on my various social media networks out there as well we'll have a wrap up of today's storms and the damage that they caused coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. We'll also talk a little bit about the hurricane forecast and see if there's anything going on. Not hurricanes yet, but just in general about tropical weather. We'll keep you updated on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, again, drop me a line right down here, austin.onic at wreg.com. We'll be glad to put something on here. If there's something you'd like to see, river data, climates, uh, weather around the world, weather where the troops are, let me know. I can't feature it unless you say. Likewise, with your pictures and weather reports, please send them in to me, especially on the social media networks that you see there and over there. If there's anything going on out there we can feature, we'd love to see it. 
please forward it along and help us to show what's going on in the Mid-South area. We'd really love to hear from you, but we can't show it again unless you send it. So please consider dropping us a picture or a weather report or something like that, and we'd be glad to use that, especially via Twitter or various social media. Live and direct from downtown Memphis late Sunday evening, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up later tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And don't forget to join News Channel 3's Todd Demers bright and early on Monday morning for News Channel 3 Daybreak Monday.